exciting year of New Jersey Thunder Basketball on the Thunder Television Network, brought to you by Stat Monster Productions. Now, the New Jersey Thunder 10th grade 16U team has a much different look this year. We say goodbye to 60% of the team. We say goodbye to the Sheriff. We say goodbye to the long arm of the law. We say goodbye to Bob the Builder, the Chapstick Man, the D.O.D., and the Nate Train. But with six new players fortified by players from Pope John, Hackettstown, Chatham, the Thunder with returning players John Crown, Sam Stackhouse, Eric Schutte, and Andrew Shankalapur, and from our fall team, Mr. Stephen Clapp of Del Barton, look to make some noise here in the first term of the season with the 2014 Spring Hoops Shootout here at the Joseph St. Lawrence Center in Coburn, New York. You can find exciting tournament action on bballshootout.com and you can find Stat Monster Productions on youtube.com. So get ready for some exciting basketball action here on the Thunder Television Network. See you in a little bit. The on Thunder the are done warming up as Funat, number 10, takes his final warm-up toss, heads back to the bench. The Thunder also say goodbye to the Hammer, Coach Matt Hammer, and welcome in Coach Kyle Seeley. Kyle Seeley has a good pedigree coaching over at St. Benedict's, one of the top programs in the state of New Jersey. So the Thunder get the final instructions from Coach Kyle Seeley and we'll take the court in just a few moments. And we'll set the starting lineup for you. Number 34 from Chatham High School, Colin McKenna. Number 31 from Randolph High School, Andrew Shank Lepour. Number 42 from Hanover Park High School, Mr. John Crown, who returns to Thunder after a stellar season of high school scholastic basketball. Number 12 from Pope John, Mr. Michael Zignorski. Number 32, Stephen Clapp out of Del Barton High School. Stay tuned for the opening tip. The whistle on the tip. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that the Thunder are matched up today against the Westchester Knights. Game one of the tournament, the 2014 Spring Hoop Shootout on bballshootout.com. Thunder digging on defense, zero. Zignorski got a hand on that shot, it's blocked. McKenna with the rebound. They swing the ball into Zignorski. Spins left to the rim. Right hand, two, no good. Hustle back on D by the Thunder. Clap forces an errant pass. Number four comes up with it, gets it inside. Guarded by Crown, there's a turnover. Shank was in there also, Crown handles the ball at the point. Pass coming this way, over to Zignorski. Zignorski from three. Side rim, no good. McKenna grabs the board. Bounce pass in the Shank. Shank pulls it out. Sets it back at the top with Crown with 13-12 on the clock. Thunder looking for the first points of the game. Shank will pour over to Clap. Clap the sweet stroking left-hander out of Del Barton. Spins to the left. Pops, drops. Two points. Thunder, 12-54. Zignorski rides his man to the right. Hands off to number four. Crown picks up the ball handler. Whistle on the play. They're going to get number 34, McKenna, on the foul. 12.43 on the clock. Thunder lead, 2-0. Number four will go to the line. Four, two shots. First one's a Beyonce shot to the left, to the left. He'll set and try it again. Second one, rattles around, goes down for a two to one score. Thunder with the ball. Outlet pass, long, a little bit too long to Shank Lepore. As I make the play between the tripod legs, tried to get a little face time, I wasn't able to do it. But don't worry, that'll change. Turnover on the Thunder, and the Westchester Knights have it. Into the middle, drive. Zignorski, strip, falls loose. Zignorski got his right hand in there, stripped the ball away, it bounced around, and the Thunder came up with it with 
29 on the clock. Shaq Laporte takes the inbound. Zignorski handles. Over to Crown. Inside to McKenna. McKenna spins right, then left. Looks for the whistle. Doesn't get it. Ball was last touched, though, by the Knights. Clap will inbound, number 32. Number eight, deflected out of bounds. We're going to do it again. Blackjack, do it again. Steely Dan, 72. McKenna takes the bounce pass. Dribbles. Pass went off of Crown's hands and out of bounds. And the Westchester Knights have it. They trail by a score of 2-1. to 12-14 remain. Two 16-minute halves of action. Here at the 16U level. That's 10th grade for those of you not versed. There's a push in AAU basketball. I believe they got Zignorski on the call. Number three, Eric Schutte out of Randolph High School checks in, replacing Clapp. Turnover on the Knights as they get it in bounds in the front court, and the players step double zero into the backcourt, and that's a backcourt violation. 12 minutes and one second tick on the clock. Brown has it with a two to one lead. To the left to Shooty. Shooty rips it to the right. Finds Crown. Crown with one man on him. Little step to the right. Dish into the middle. Ball's loose. Knights have it. Number four with a nice little move into the lane and he scores for a 3 2 lead. 11.34 remain in the half. Brown over to Shooty. Shooty to the basket. Stop, pop, left handed shot is good from about eight feet out. 4-3, Thunder with a one-point lead. Judy gets tripped, a legal pick by, a little legal screen by number four of the Knights. Green by McKenna, two men on Crown. Crown finds McKenna. McKenna inside the Shank of court. The defense converges, Shank is down. He took a blow to the face. That'll bring number 10, Funat. It goes by the name Funat. One word, like Madonna, Prince, Funat. Jack Lepore lobbies to stay in the game. Coach Kyle Sealy says, take a break, young man. You'll be back. Five minutes elapsed here in the first, court, first half, I should say. Got to get out of that four-quarter mode for the high school scholastic season, at least for this tournament, two 16-minute halves. Behind the back, number one. He turns it over, Zignorski came up with it, but they called a push. That'll be the second on McKenna. Thunder with a 4-3 lead in a low scoring first half. Inside the double zero, and he converts. Somehow the score is 5-5, I'm not really quite sure how it went from, it should be 5-4. Thunder trailing by one, Crown with a nice move to the basket, he draws the foul and he'll take it in for one. We'll see if they'll get the scoreboard right and unconfuse me, wait a second. Right now the score reads 9-5 Thunder. For not with a shot from outside, it's good from three point land. Brown found him on the perimeter, and he knocked it down. Number one takes it in, and he scores, and the scoreboard is all messed up. Right now it says 9-7. Who not? Gets called for their suitcase. That'll be the first suitcase of the game on the Thunder. The lead by a score of 9-7.
Number 45, Michael McDonald checks into the game, replacing McKenna. McKenna has two personal fouls. Now the score is seven to seven. Well, I guess when you watch this back on video, you could tell me what the score is, because I have no idea. But we'll just go by what they say on the scoreboard. There's an open look by number five. Three-pointer rims out. Fight for the loose ball. Thunder will come up with it as it skips out of bounds with 9.58 on the clock here in the first half of action. Scores all knotted up at seven. At one point, the Thunder were up 4-3. Since that time, anarchy has reigned on the scoreboard. Funat with a nice move inside. He can't get it to go. And number five comes up with it for the Knights. The Knights, they call a push. McDonald got his hand on it. But before McDonald was able to block it, they got a push on number 10, Funat. He's affectionately known by his family as Fu. Who is very easy to say, and it rhymes with a lot of things, so we'll see where that goes. First free throw is good, and Thunder now trail 8-7. Second free throw is money. And the Thunder Trail by two with 9.38 remaining in the first half of action. Fu over to Crown. Crown rainbows it to Fu. Fu goes high in the air back out to Crown. Crown surveying the court. Number one. Gets ready to D him up. Crown pulls it back out, swings it right to Shooty. Back to Crown. 9.14 remain. Crown, spin move, open Fu not. Funak gets it deflected away, stolen by number 24. Number 11 got a hand on it as Funat drove the lane. That shot was partially tipped, I think, by Zignorski. The Knights sell out trying to get that ball before it goes out of bounds. Too little, too late, the Thunder will have it. Trailing by two. With under nine minutes remaining in the half. Shooty, Shooty with a little hole. Flips it to McDonald. McDonald, turn around. Rims out. Loose ball. Tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Thunder. McDonald tried to get in there, grab that board, but it just deflected off his hands and out of bounds. 841 remain. Number two, Sam Stackhouse checks into the game. For the Thunder, replacing Shooty. Eight thirty-six on the clock. Thunder trail by two. Number zero drives in the lane. Blocked out of bounds. Was it Funat? Was it Zignorski? I don't know. Zignorski has had active hands so far here in the first half, getting his hands on shots and passes. And it's a tight contest right now, as two points separate the Knights and the Thunder. Number eleven is long on a shot. McDonald grabs the rebound. Brown has it in the backcourt. Gets over to Zignorski. Zignorski drives. Blocked by number one. Zignorski hits the deck. Number one has it. Funat with a hand in the face. Shot is no good. Crown has it. Crown, Stackhouse to the left. Stackhouse dishes it back to Crown. Crown spins. In the lane, gets fouled, he gets the roll! That'll tie the score at nine. Crown will go to the line, looking to give the Thunder a one-point lead with seven minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. And you are tuned into the Thunder Television Network and Step Monster Productions. Crown gets the roll and the Thunder back in the lead, 10 to 9. Stackhouse digs in on D on number 24, forces him to the side and forces him to give up the ball. 
Number zero has it. Zagnorski gets around the screen. That'll be a timeout. I don't know if there was a whistle on that play and a foul. Zagnorski did a nice job getting around the screen. It might have been an illegal pick. We'll find out when we return to action. But right now, there's a timeout on the floor and a Thunder lead the Westchester Knights by a score of 10 to 9 with seven and a half minutes to go in the first half here on the Thunder Television Network and Stat Monster Productions. Uh, I guess there was no foul on it. It was just a timeout. And off the timeout, the Westchester Knights have it. Tipped by Mc McDonald, out of bounds. Last touched, however, by the Westchester Knights. Stackhouse will inbound the ball to Crown. Jog up the right side. Clear out his space. Crown gets a screen from McDonald. Takes it left. Crown from three. Off the rim. Squeezed by the Knights. Outlet pass. They swing it into the backcourt. Number five, shot is long. Zignorski got a hand on it, couldn't corral it, went out of bounds. The Knights have it. Into the game, number five, Thomas Flanagan out of Randolph High School. Number 32, Stephen Clapp. And number 31, Andrew Shank Lepore. Number five in the corner, two second violation on the Knights. Flanagan controls. Thunder with a one point lead. Flanagan to the left. Over to Shank. Shank Lepore. Back out to Funat. Funat ridden by two players. He steps into the backcourt. It's a turnover on the Thunder. Knights have it, trailing by one with 6.47 on the clock. Funak gets encouraging words from coach Kyle Seeley. Heads back into the paint to do his job on defense. Fu digs in defensively, guarding number five. Number five trying to get around, sees nothing there. He flips it to number 11. McKenna back into the game, number 34 as well for the Thunder. Tipped away, McKenna clogged up the lane and Clapp got a hand on it and Fu has the ball over to Flanagan. Flanagan takes it right. Bounces it in the Fu. Fu in front of yours truly. Behind the back, right into the hands of number 11 however. Number 24 takes it, he's short with the right hand. Jack Lepore was on the run. He gets it deflected out of bounds from behind to his left. And John Crown will check back into the game for the Thunder. Flanagan will inbound the ball for the Thunder, who lead 10-9. Brown looking for a lane, he finds Fu. Fu, pull up jumper from just to the right of the elbow. It's no good. Number eight grabs it for the Knights. Flips it in, number 11 got behind the defense and he lays it in for an easy bucket, 11 to 10. Thunder trail by one. Brown lost the handle but got it back. Over to Flanagan. Flanagan inside. Pass was picked off, intended for Shank Lepore. Knights with a one point lead. Jumper from inside the three point line is good. Extends the lead to 13 to 10 with 5.10 on the clock. We're here in the first half of action on the Thunder Television Network. Flanagan over to Fu. Low scoring first half here in the first game of the season. Shaq Lepore from downtown, short, he gets his own rebound, floats it up off the back iron, no good. McKenna grabbed it, 
got deflected by number 23 from behind. They say it's off of McKenna. And the Knights have it with a three-point lead and 4.41 on the clock. Clap is Ignorski and McDonald over to the scorer's table, set to check into the game for the Thunder. No good. Fu grabs the rebound off the miss by the Knights. Fu sees a lane to the basket, draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two shots. Cut it to one with free throws. First one rattles in. 13 to 11. Clap, McDonald, Zignorski, check in. Whose second shot is nothing but rim and net. Barely got the rim, back of the iron, but it went down. And that's the way we like it. It's a one point game once again. Backcourt pressure by the Thunder, and it works to perfection. As the Thunder draw the foul, there was a push off, and Shooty will inbound it. Shooty has Zignorski. Zignorski from three. He gets fouled on a shot. He'll go to the line for three shots and a chance to take the lead for the Thunder. Ziggy's first shot is nothing but net. Ties the score at 13 with four minutes and 15 seconds to go in the first. Zignorski is nothing but net on the second, and he's got one more to come. The Thunder lead 14 to 13 in what has been a low scoring seesaw affair in the first half of the first tournament and the first game. Zignorski is good on all three. The Thunder now lead by two. The score is 15 to 13. At the B-Ball Shootout.com tournaments, it's 10 team fouls and then continuous one and one. There's a foul on the Thunder, the bucket is good. I don't know who they got, somebody with a two. But that'll tie the score at 15 with 4.01 on the clock. Number four at the line for the Knights. It looks to give the Westchester Knights a one point lead. Seems like I've been saying that a lot this morning, but he does not. McDonald grabs a rebound, gets it tipped away, out of bounds. Thunder have it back. Zignorski. That's five seconds to get it in. Floats it high to Crown. Crown goes up and get it. He's got clap open. Defense gets back. Number eight recognized it for the Knights. Crown into the lane. Floats in the air, misses, gets his board. Goes back up, banks it in off the glass for a two point lead. Big offensive rebound by Crown in the putback. Thunder 17, Knights 15, 337 remain in the half. Pressure by Clapp and Shooty. Forces the ball to the other side. Zero, deflected by Shooty. Back to number 14 of the Knights. Drive to the basket, Crown blocked it. McDonald came up with it. Crown has Shooty to the left, clap to the right. Lane in the middle, pull back from the three free throw line is good. Thunder with a four point lead, their largest lead of the game. 19-15 with 2.54 on the clock. Inside. We have a suitcase, first suitcase of the game on number eight. Decides to go traveling, we give him a suitcase.
Trudy. Takes a left, dishes the crown. Swings around, crown to the basket. Trudy cut through the baseline, cleared out his man, and Crown took advantage for a 21 to 15 lead. Dignorski, good solid defense, he's on him. They do get him for the foul, however. 2.25 to go in the half. Jack Lepore back into the game, replaces Ignorski. Thunder with a six point lead. Clap ran into a pick. Shooty picked up the man as they switch on defense. Deflection. McDonald comes up with the loose ball. Over to Shooty. Shooty looks up, finds Clap right out in front of us. Clap with a lefty look off the side of the rim. Brown runs it down. Two minutes to go. Whistle. They call an offensive foul. They say Crown threw his forearm, his right forearm, to move the man defender off the ball. And that's the fifth team foul on the Thunder. 1.51 to go in the half. We have a whistle on the other end, a legal screen, as number five, Flanagan, number two, Stackhouse, check back into the game for the Thunder. Stackhouse has the ball. Loses the handle. Swatted away by Michael McDonald. Knights have it. Ball's loose. Stackhouse looks to run it down. Out of bounds. They said it was last touched by the by the Thunder. Kyle Seeley doesn't agree. It looked like it was deflected by the Knights. There's a conversation. No avail. 138 on the clock. 21-15. Thunder do have it. But it's back in their zone. They get it into McDonald. Over to Clapp. Clap has it over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse over to Clap. Clap has it. Takes it left. Dishes to Stackhouse. Stackhouse from three. No good. A little short, but nice job by Jack Lepore. He reads the shot was short, grabs it in midair, puts it up, and gets fouled with 121. He'll go to the line with a six point lead, 21 to 15. First one is good. Thunder by seven, 121. Stackhouse gets some words of wisdom from Coach Seeley. And Shaq Lepore is good as the Thunder have hit five in a row from the line and they lead 23 to 15. Drive by Zeri, kicks it out wide open. Shank got caught down low on a screen they couldn't quite get out there in time, and the three-pointer cuts it to 23 to 18 with 108 on the clock. Clapping in the middle, turnaround, jumper is good from the paint. 25-18, one minute left. Number 14 has it. Shank is on him, pulls it back out. Zero has it, but Flanagan is out there. Drive to the paint, nothing there. It's number zero throws it up, front rim. McKenna has it. Stackhouse. Oh, he had clap open. The pass was just a little short. And that's a turnover on the Thunder, but they lead 25 to 18 with 36 seconds to go. Flanagan says, you're not shooting that on me, number zero. So try a different avenue. He tries left, hands it off. Stackhouse on number 10. Forces it back out to zero, 18 seconds. Jumper short. Shank has it over to Clap. Clap runs it down. In, over to Flanagan, Flanagan drives, Shank inside, Shank knocks it down off the dish from Flanagan with four seconds, three, two, Shank out of bounds with 1.4, 1.4 seconds, the Westchester Knights have to cut into a 27-18 deficit. Yeah. 
at the buzzer. It's good, and it's a three-pointer at the buzzer. And it's 27 to 21 as we go to halftime here on the Thunder Television Network. You are tuned in to Stack Monster Productions. You can find Stack Monster Productions on www.youtube.com. Just go to that little box at the top of youtube.com and type in two words. That's easy. So easy, even I can do it. First word, Stack Monster. Second word, Productions. Do that and you'll get lots of exciting hoops action. So thanks for watching Stack Monster Productions. Second half set to begin. The Thunder pulled away in the latter stages of the first half. Only to see a buzzer three-pointer cut their lead to six. It's 27-21. Clap, Crown, Shank, McKenna, and Ziggy on the court for the Thunder. There's an open look for the sweet stroking left-hander, but it's just a little bit off. And the Knights have it. Blocked by McKenna, down low. Loose ball. They come up with it, nice feed inside. McKenna, that's his third. Knights will go to the line. 15-36, they're going the game. No good on the first for the Knights, number eight. to come, trailing by six are the Knights. And they still trail by six. Shank grabs the rebound, throws it out of bounds, and the Knights will have another chance. McKenna tips it away, steals, Zignorski back to McKenna. McKenna, nice moving in the lane, rolls in and out. No love for the Thunder. Fast break. Good hustle by Crown to get back, but number one was too far out in front of the pack, and it's 27-23. Flap has it, pulls it back out. Ripped by McKenna. McKenna inside the Shank. Shank is good. McKenna to Shank, 29-23. Five minutes a lap, four minutes a lap. Wait, 16 minus. Oh, forget the math. All I know is I'm not good at the math on the fly. Nice feed inside. Clap in the shank. 31-25, six-point lead. Fourteen thirty-five to go. Let's say a minute and a half elapsed. There, that sounds about right. Loose ball. Offensive rebound by number eight in the putback for a 31-27 score. Brown, Zignorski. Zignorski pulls up. Rim, no good. Rebound, Shank. His shot is blocked. Ball's loose. Eight came up with it. Zero, handles. It's a four-point game. Thunder lead. Stolen by Zignorski. Zignorski handles, Thunder 31-27, they lead by four. 13-51 to go in the game, McKenna, he gets fouled, he'll take it to the line for two shots. Ken is good on his first. Extends the Thunder lead to five. Second one, nice rotation. Bada bing, bada bang, 33-27. Drive, McKenna blocks it. McKenna playing with three fouls. 
Maintains good body control and gets the hand right on the ball. Knights inbound, open look from three. That's gonna be off the mark. Good box out by Shank. He grabs the board. Pass was just a little bit ahead. A little too far for Clap on the wing. Brown says, settle down, Shank, settle down. You love the energy Mr. Shank Lepore brings to this game. As the wingmaster, Shank blocks the shot. Loose ball on the floor. Jennifer Lopez play on the floor. Zignorski runs it down. Behind the back, pulls it back, finds a lane, dishes to the open, clap and clap is short. Turnover as the pass to purgatory by the Knights. The Knights and the Thunder with 13 minutes to go. The Thunder lead the Knights by score of 33 to 27. Number three, Eric Schutte into the game for the Thunder. Along with number 10, Funat. Zignorski will take the ball next to Coach Seely and inbound it for the Thunder. Into the backcourt to Crown. Crown brings it up. Shooty has it at the top of the key. Flips it out left. Behind the three-point arc has Fu into McKenna. McKenna spins. Nothing in the lane. Spin move by Shooty got it into McKenna. McKenna took it, faked left, spun right, and drew the contact. He'll shoot two. Twelve and a half, just a shade over twelve and a half left to go in the game. Thunder at the line, looking to extend. That's their first miss in a while. Looking to extend a six-point lead. They've led by as many as nine. No good on the second. Score holds at 33-27. McKenna digs in defensively. Good defense by McKenna as he shuts down number one, looking for an opening. Drive, kick left, three. Brown got a hand in the face, offensive rebound. Blocked by Fu. Fu's block goes right to McKenna. He finds Crown into Zignorski. Zignorski bounces it in. Shooty pulls out, pops, doesn't drop. Ball's loose. Knights have it. Stripped away. Zignorski stopped his momentum. Crown came out on the backside and swiped it away for the Thunder. Crown pulls up. Back rim, no good. Stolen back away by Crown. The, oh, but Crown threw it to a man who wasn't ready for it. Inside move by number one, he banks it in. 33-29, that cuts the lead to four for the Thunder. Never had a few opportunities down on the offensive end. They couldn't convert. They'll look to get some points on this trip. Shooty with a nice feed in the Funat. The Funat will try it at the line. Good find by Eric Shooty. Thunder have been stuck on 33 like Band-Aid stuck on me. Fu looks to change that. First one is good. Shank back into the game with McDonald. 34-29. Second shot. As the man from Pope John says, when I'm at the line, I don't fool around. Probably not my best use of the word foo, but hey, at least I tried. Loader in the lane is good. 35-31 with 10.54. 
Shooty to Shank, back to Shooty, over to Crown. Shooty has it with a four point lead for the Thunder. Tries to get it back to Crown. A little miscommunication on the play. The ball goes back over to the Knights. Ten and a half to go. Into the middle, kick out. Shooty with a hand in the face, but the bucket is good by number 14. And a once nine point lead has been whittled back down to two. 35-33. Shooty has it. Shooty from three. No good. The Thunder's three point shooters have been a little bit off, but they could get hot at any time. Number one, he has it. He launches, he's good, and the score is tied at 35. Coach Kyle Seely, seeing a 6-0 run by the Knights, calls a timeout with the score tied at 35 in nine minutes and 57 seconds left in the game. Anybody's contest here between the Westchester Knights and the New Jersey Thunder, you are tuned in to Stack Monster Productions and the Thunder Television Network. Off of the timeout, Thunder have Funat, Brown, Stackhouse, Shank Lepore, and McDonald on the court. A shade under 10 minutes to go in the game. Brown drives, pull up jumpers. Good! Thunder lead by two. 37 35. Stackhouse digs in defensively, forces the ball outside. Three point shooter is good. Defender came to help, and the three-point shooter connected. And it's 38-37, Thunder trail by one. Crown drives, gets his shot blocked, but he gets fouled. There's a reason why that shot was blocked. It's because the defender got on his John Deere and plowed into John Crown. Crown gets up off the turf and goes to the line, looking to give the Thunder the lead. First one is no good, so he'll look to tie with the second shot as Flanagan checks into the game for the Thunder. Brown is good on the second, all knotted at 38. Nine fourteen on the clock, score is tied. Westchester Knights have been doing it from outside. And that has kept them in the game. Food to the basket, in the paint. Was the Thunder have been a little more effective in the paint. And they leave 40 to 38. But another wide open shooter knocks it down and the Thunder once again trail by one. Brown. In the lane, no look. Over to Shank Lepore. Andrew Shank Lepore is it in the bucket for a one point lead. Shank gets back on his man defensively, but they're gonna whistle on the play. They're gonna get Shank on the hold. Zignorski back into the game for the Thunder. Turnover, Knights. The Thunder get it back. Ball's loose. Who goes and gets it? Thunder trail, 42-41. Crown pull up from the free throw line is good. That's a two. Or was that a three? Oh, Thunder were leading 42-41. My bad, they now lead 44-41. Jumper, no good as both teams are getting hot as two steps outside the elbow. The Knights player knocks it down for a one point game. Thunder lead by one, 44-43. Foo, 
steps back over to Zignorski. Zignorski loses his footing. Knights have it. Block! Oh! You can't fault Fu for trailing the backside, trying to make a play. What he couldn't foresee is that Brown had already blocked that shot, but Fu could not control his momentum as he was hustling like a freight train coming down the lane. And he wasn't able to keep from running into number five. It's a nice job, though, by the Thunder getting back defensively. Two shots for the Knights, who trail by one with seven minutes and 35 seconds in the game. Free throw is no good. Number five can't believe his eyes. So he'll set up and try it again. Second one is good, all tied up at 44. Shooty clap, check into the game. As coach Kyle Seely gets his two lefty shooters into the game. I said it earlier, Shooty and Clapp could get hot at any time from downtown. And that could be a difference in the game. Driving the lane, ball's loose. Thunder lose the handle, ball's on the floor. Whistle. Personal foul. They may have gotten McKenna. If so, that would be his fourth. Speaking of fours, fours on the scoreboard with 44-44 and seven minutes to go. Drive, floater, no good. Rebound, Knights, second miss. This time McKenna squeezes it for the night, for the Thunder. Lignorski has it, bounces it in. Beautiful look inside, McKenna. Turns to the basket, meets number 11, and he'll go to the line for two shots with 6.40 on the clock in a tie game. McKenna knocks down the first. Thunder 45, Knights 44. Second one is no good. Thunder started off hot from the line. They've missed a few. Nice job by Clapp forcing the turnover for the Thunder. Shank back into the game. Replaces McKenna. Swings it right, Zignorski. Pull back, jumper, off to the left. Schutte, good defense by Schutte, forces his man to give it up. Zignorski drives his man in the middle, forces a turnover. Crown, outlet pass to clap. Right idea, he couldn't quite get the execution down, but he saw the open man under, heading towards the basket. Couldn't quite squeeze it in there. Thunder lead, 45-44. Drive. Bank shot, good. Thunder trail, 46-45. Zignorski has it. Shooty comes out, sets a screen. Pass to the right, crown. Jab step right, pulls it back. Has Zignorski, Zignorski with a ball fake. Middles closed down, ball's loose. Zignorski has it. Kicks out, Shooty has a look. There it's Shooty! Shock and awe! Three-pointer!
Steiner as he pulls the trigger and knocks down a missile from downtown for a 48-46 lead. Number 24 has it for the Knights. Zignorski says, if you want to take your baseline, I'm going to force you out of bounds. He kicks it back into the lane. Nice look by number 14, and it's all tied at 48. Brown has it, ridden by number 11. Brown gets around him. How did he do that? Flips it to the right hand and skids it off the glass for a 50 to 48 lead with 437. Jump shot, Shank with a hand in the face. Zignorski rips down the board, Thunder by two. Shank Lepore in the corner, back out to Crown, they reset. He has Shooty to the right, he pulls the trigger. No good, rebound, Shank, put back, Thunder by four. 4.15 on the clock. Big offensive block, swatted away by Steven. Plop. 52-48. Knights came up with the deflection. Tipped by Shooty. Shooty to Shank. Wide open. Crown. Layup good. 54-48. Thunder shoot it back out to six. And it is high. It is far. It is gone. Thunderball. We give props to John Sterling on that call. Stack Monster Productions serves to always cite its sources. Shooty over to Zignorski. Zignorski, two men on him. Nice little move inside, flips it. A little too hot to handle for Clap. Number zero has it for the Knights. Number 14, he's been instant scoring off the bench for the Knights. Clap, aware of that, is going to keep an eye on him out on the perimeter. Number four has it, guarded by Crown, into the middle, down deep. Number five wants to shoot the three, but Zignorski's out on it. Ball's coming to play! Makes the play! to go in the game. They call a violation on the Thunder. They're saying the Thunder stepped on the line. Knights will have it with 310. They trail by six. Knights in the lane. Blocked by Fu. Oh! They whistle contact, I think he got him with the body. At least that's what the call looks like it would be. He certainly didn't get him on the wrist as he got all ball with that. Two shots for the Knights, a 259 and a six point deficit. Thunder also have to be careful of the three point shooters as the Westchester Knights have been knocking them down at a high rate from behind the arc. First free throw is good. Cuts the Thunder lead to five with 2.59 on the clock. Second one, no good. Shank grabs it. Thunder have the ball in the five point lead with 2.56. Brown to the right. Oh, beautiful feed inside to Shank! Shank flips it in with the right hand. And the score is 56 to 49. Thunder by seven. 3 pointer. Oh, number 14 does it again. Back down the 4, 56 to 52. Funat pulls it up. No good. Funat might have had a tip. Shooty got a hand on it. Over to Crown. Crown. Shank. Shooty reverse layup. No good. Loose ball. Shank Lepore has it. Shank Lepore goes up strong. Oh, Shank Lepore. Knocks it down with the contact. One shot to come. What tenacious play on the boards by Shanka Lepore. As the Thunder get three or four offensive rebounds, Shank scores it to give the Thunder a 58 to 52 lead. Offensive board off the miss by Fu. Fu gets fouled. 
with 2.06 on the clock. Fu to the line for the Thunder, looking to push a six point lead. Fu is a little short on that one. I believe that's his first miss from the line. Let's hope it's his last. Fu says, that's right, Stack Monster. That is my last. Two minutes to go. Thunder lead, 59, 52. Drive, loses the handle. Knights get it back. We have a push. Judy picks up the personal. It's a six-team foul, seven for the Knights. The defense by the Thunder, not giving up anything down. Oh, what a nice shot by Zero, who's trying to keep the Knights in the game. Plenty of time left. Thunder lead, 59-54, five-point lead. Zignorski has it. The Thunder call a timeout with 123. As Coach Seal, he looks to settle it down and says, guys, we got this lead. It's five points. We need to play smart. We need to control the ball. Take only good shots. And don't get sloppy. We come back for the conclusion of this game with 123 on the clock and the Thunder clinging to a 59 to 54 lead here on the Thunder Television Network in Stack Monster Production. Thunder break the huddle for the final 123. Fu, Shank, Clap, Crown, and Ziggy. Man the battlefield. Clap. Over to Zagorski. Tipped away from behind. Turnover. Thunder need to dig in on defensively. They do not want to give the Knights an easy look. I kick my tripod, I pull it back. Drive to the lane, ball's loose. Crown comes up with it. Good defense as he drives into the teeth of the Thunder. Zignorski gets fouled. fouls before the Thunder will go to a one and one. Zignorski will inbound. Looks backcourt to Crown and instead finds Shank down low. Shank to the basket, layup! That's the type of easy look I talked about just a few moments ago. When it comes, you take it. Six point lead. Less than a minute to go. Zignorski gets a hand in. Number one. Little hesitation to the basket. They're going to whistle Foo or Shank they get Fu on the foul. The bucket is good. 61-56. Shooty will check into the game, replacing Fu. Thunder lead by five. It's a two possession game. 41 seconds to go. Free throw is good. It's now a four point game. Thunder have jumped out to leads of nine, seven, and six on numerous occasions. Right now, with 41.7 left, the Thunder lead stands at four. You see the scoreboard. Timeout here on the Thunder Television Network. Thunder half possession with a four point lead and 41.7. Full court pressure by the Knights. Shooty comes to it, gets bumped from behind. One more and the Knights will be shooting free throws. Knights have some guys who can knock them down from the line in the court. There's a push, that'll be 10 as the Knights look to stop the clock. They two quick fouls to try to put the Thunder at the line. 
and shooting free throws. It's going to be a free throw game from here on in as the Knights look to extend this game. They bring in number 14, who's knocked down two or three from downtown. Brown's first is good. 62-57. 40.8. Brown is good on the second. Thunder by six. They need to defend the three ball. When they get possession, they don't want to foul and give up a layup, but they did. And this could be a three-point play that cuts it to a one-possession game. It's the second time in the closing minutes that the Thunder have fouled on a layup. It's gone down. Right now, they can only hope for a miss to keep it a two-possession game. They lead 63-59 to with 35 seconds. They get a miss. They need a rebound. They get it. It's still a two-possession game. Shank. Shank draws the whistle. And if he didn't, he had an open clap. Shank goes to the line. Thunder have a four point lead, 63 to 59. The Knights are getting what they want, drawing out the last 40 seconds or so, making it last as long as they possibly can. There's no two shots here in this tournament. It's all one and one from here on out. Miss. Steal by Shank. Shank gets fouled. Shank will go back to the line. A chance for redemption. Twenty-seven point two. As we whittle a couple more seconds off the clock. Shank Lapour. Thunder by four. Shank shot. No good. 22 seconds to go. Drive, dish, number zero, looks for an open. He gets it off. It was a difficult shot, tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Thunder. 11.3, it's a four point game. The Thunder do not want to foul on a three point shot. Just get a hand up in the face. Drive, floater, no good, off to the left. Offensive rebound, put back, no good, four seconds. No good, no foul, zero, one, and the Thunder pull it out. A four point victory over the Westchester Knights in the opening game of the 2014 season for the 10th grade 16U New Jersey Thunder. You have been watching Stat Monster Productions and the Thunder defeat the Westchester Knights by a score of 63 to 59. As a happy Thunder squad gets ready for the post game conference with Coach Kyle Seeley. And we bid you adieu and a farewell and say, see you next time on Stack Monster Productions. Yeah, baby.